Hey guys, this is Monty coming to you from the County Model Shop. Uh, a couple of guys have asked me how I spray my acrylic paints, so I'm going to do a little demonstration. Now, I am not an expert by any means. I've watched the experts like Chris Cortell, Class Plastic 101, Gary over at MC Model Works, Chris Chapman, and many, many others. But uh, this, is, this is how I do it. And first off, I got all use Hache H, and this old air compressor didn't have a gauge on it, so I had no idea what front I'm shooting at. That thing's uh, close to 40 years old. All right, guys, let's get started. Um, what I'm going to use today is uh, ceram coat, and this is uh, what colors? Yes, gecko. This is the color. Uh, there you go, it's the camera. And then I thin it with washer fluid. I always have the, I've had my better luck just mixing it 50 50. I said it, it really depends on your paint um, you know whether you're using a metallic um, or just a plain color like this um, you want thin enough to um, spray and cover uh, but you don't want it too thin either doesn't seem to work real well at least I haven't had that kind of luck with it anyway. And today I'm going to be using some old CUDA body. Um, I always prefer to prime the, the bodies, whatever I'm painting. Uh, it's just a, a Rust-Oleum primer. But I am going to shoot the hood with no primer, just show you that it will cover both ways. I like spray, try to spray up inside the body so when you turn it over you miss anything. Of course, if you ever sprayed acrylic before, you know you got to put mist coats on. I mean, I guess that goes with any paint. Uh, you get some serious runs. With this being water based, uh, you have to kind of watch it. You'll see some spots come up, but that's typical with any of your acrylic paints I've run across. Uh, even the wicked paints that I've used. Uh, just kind of give it a once over. I get my edges. Of course, I'll go back and paint that underside of the hood.
open up this needle just a little more. All right, guys that's what I'll uh, I'll stop it right here for right now and we'll come back and uh, I'll put a couple more coats on it and uh, then we'll go from there all right we're back I uh, got the second coat on uh, I had forgotten rear balance and firewall so when I got those and the uh, red air support and uh, of course the chassis this is an older kit so everything is molded in. So uh, the second coat came up pretty good. Um, got one little piece of trash ended up here on the roof. I can get that out. We sand it, um, but I'll let it sit for about a day. Then we'll clear it. One thing I forgot to mention earlier: uh, always wear gloves. It helps tremendously. I forgot to when I put the first coat on and had a nice shade of green, a lot of Shrek. So, um, all right, we'll let this dry and uh, we'll be back to clear it. Okay guys, this is Monty coming to you from County Model Shop for our final stage on the how I paint acrylics. Uh, what I use is Rust-Oleum 2X Clear uh, to go over top of the, my acrylic paints. Uh, of course, I, don't, I spray all my enamel stuff outside. So I warm up the, the clear and uh, just a little bit of warm water and go from there. Now let's put several light coats on and build it up. Um, because it is a 2x so it comes out pretty heavy 
to begin with. And what I'll do, I'll repeat this process two or three more times and then let it sit and then we'll wet sand it. All right, guys, we're back. Um, what I did, I did the painting of the uh, color on Wednesday. I cleared it on Thursday. Now it's Sunday afternoon. The clear has dried and hardened. Um, as you can see, it's got a nice shine on it. It does have a little bit of orange peel in it, uh, but it's got some, you're getting some nice shine. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a little wet sanding and then I'm going to polish it. This is what I use for sanding. Uh, got it at Hobby Lobby, uh, works great. Uh, with this one, I'll probably start out with my 2,000, just a little bit, and then go to 4,000 and 6,000, and then go from there. Uh, then I'll use the Novus 2 um, to get out to find stuff, and then I will um, finish it off. So I'll take guys with the uh, McGuire's Carnuba. What I'm probably going to do just for this video, I'm probably just going to do the roof uh, real quickly and uh, so I can get this video made um, and we'll be back shortly. Alright guys, I'm back. I uh, spent about 15 minutes uh, sanding and polishing the, the roof. Um, I'll go back over everything where we started. Um, this is the acrylic paint that I used. It's a Delta uh, ceram coat paint uh, mixed with 50-50 with washer fluid. Now use the Rust-Oleum 2X Clear. Now this is the only reason I'm able to wet sand this car because it is acrylic paint. Um, but because this is an enamel, it allows me to, it seals the body, allows me to wet sand. Uh, otherwise you wouldn't be able to do that. Then I use the Novus to polish and then the, the Meguiar's Carnuba to, to polish it up. Um, again, I learned from watching Chris Cortell, uh, over CP 101, uh, Gary or MC Model Works, uh, Chris Chapman, and many, many others. Uh, those guys are the professionals, they're the experts. Uh, I just kind of have some decent luck with it myself. Uh, I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, I know this has been a long video for me. Uh, but I appreciate all the support uh, and encouragement. And uh, so let's get to the body here. I'm going to show you, as you can see, even though the clear gives it a nice shine, you still see some uh, orange peel in there uh, on the trunk. And that's basically what the whole body looks like. But after just a few minutes, that's how the top turned out. Uh, pretty nice, pretty shiny. Um, that that 2X Clear does a great job uh, of sealing this acrylic paint, uh, which allows you to, to sand, wet sand, and, and polish and buff. Uh, but that's how it turned out. Uh, I see a little spot there on that corner. Uh, that was a gnat that flew into the paint when I was painting it and uh, putting the clear on and everything. Sand, sand it out, but that's okay. It's just a, a jump body. Uh, this, I said, it's decent results. Uh, I've had pretty good luck with it. Uh, again, thank you so much for watching and your support. Um, and this community is just amazing. Uh, the way that it, 
you can learn from each other and also the way I have learned so uh, this is the way I paint acrylic paint God bless <laughs>